Hi. Do you able to see me? Hello. Please send a message so that I can start. Please send any message so that I can start. Yasta, try to connect, try to join this session. I have invited you. There is an option. Please check. Or otherwise I will start. Okay, okay, let us start. Please type on question so that I can answer. Hi, sorry for the delay. So I'm Ritu this side and thank you. Thanks a lot for our previous session. So today our topic of discussion is autism and ADHD among kids. Uh, this is actually this is really a very very difficult topic nowadays because every fourth child is falling under all these things. So what exactly ADHD or ASD? See ADHD stands for attention deficient hyperactiveness and autism ASD stands for autism spectrum developmental disorder. Both are common terms like used for a group of neurological neurodevelopmental disorder both are uh, both are like characters uh, characterized by deficient in some social uh, developmental social communication or interaction or some unusual behavior or some particular kind of interest among kids and people uh, it is yeah it is affecting adult to adults also but today's topic is for about the kids like how it affects when we can diagnose and all. So the signs and symptoms are like initially like typically noticed in first three years, initial three years in children when they are not giving any eye contact or they are not responding to their name or they don't want to be with anyone. They just want to be alone. So autism, ADHD and ADHD, like ADHD, affects the way of child relate to his or his or her own environment uh, because of that they are not uh, like uh, it affects their daily routine their daily functioning their daily day-to-day -day life their daily social interaction so mental actually the mental uh, capacity may be compromised due to subnormal functioning of some area of brain Due to that, uh, children are not able to like uh, interact properly. They don't want to mingle properly. And uh, hence it affects overall development of child. So when we can like how it can be diagnosed. So uh, if somebody is having questions, please uh, start sharing questions so that I can able to answer as we are already late by 25 minutes. So like when we can diagnose this, how we diagnose this? See, normally after third, fourth month of child, the child starts smiling when they found a similar faces or similar voice. And they start interacting. They start interacting with the... They start actually interacting. They don't want to interact with kids. Let me silent my phone. Otherwise, it will continuously bothering us. So, uh, why uh, does autism symptom improves by age? Yes, actually autism basically is, uh, is a neurodevelopmental disorder. Sometimes it happens at the uh, age very young age when some viral infection or some uh, like fever came 
and when the overdose of antibiotics happened or not a proper uh, like sometimes we miss something to take a proper call on those symptoms what why child fall sick and all due to that we are not uh, like able to able to like take a proper call after one child fall under uh, like a speech delay first and sometimes they are not able to hear properly so diagnosis of adhd or autism is really really difficult for any any doctor across globe because it is a very thin line between autism asd and adhd child so due to that even doctors got confused so being a parent it is our duty to keep a check why our 6 months old child is not uh, giving smile or giving eye contact to us why he is not like babbling or cooing or want to climb on us why he is silent when we are calling their name because by 12th month kids understand their they recall their names well they recall their parents or what whoever at home they easily connect with them they give very beautiful nice smile to them so autism yes due to the uh, not uh, what we can say uh, due to the not proper intervention sometimes leads to autism when you found anything delayed better to take a immediate intervention check with your pediatric or any developmental pediatric they will guide you better that why child is doing having a little different behavior then a normal child why child is not giving eye point uh, eye contact why child is not pointing out anything why child is not uh, giving smile or why child is having a very aggressive behavior actually delayed the intervention leads to autism sometimes if we took a proper call on time and we and it start with a speech delay basically with the speech and expressive delays so people are in especially in india we are having a said formula like wait for some time your child will speak or your child will respond but no it is not like that please take a proper call check with your developmental doctor or pediatric why child is not giving is there any illness or constipation or continuously cold cough issues is happening so please keep a proper check on the child and take a proper call on that due to the only like autism start it is a neurological disorder of course and it is a like uh, related to the brain only and we have to take a proper measures to deal with these issues so uh, like when we found that child is not able to responding on his name better to check his ear first if uh, it the test name is called bera test so normally nowadays after the birth they took they did test at home they normally every doctor does this test but unfortunately sometime in a small city or a uh, small city kind of a thing like they forgot to take this test to do that test sometime there is some issue with ear due to that child is not able to respond his or her name well make try to make a eye contact with the child or how can i and try to make a like proper contact with the child eye contact with the child try to interact with the child and if you found any issues immediately take a call on that and uh, these things happened with a small thing like speech delay when child is not able to express him or her in his words then they start like feeling annoyed they start uh, getting aggressive sometimes due to that doctor also like put them in autism sometimes or adhd like child is hyperactive they don't sit on place or there are actually several parameters where we can put child on any thing so please pour your question so that i can able to answer you vinisha sent uh, one question how can i differentiate between an active and adhd child so so many questions i forgot actually to scroll the window so how can i differentiate between an active and a adhd child see active and adhd child both are normal adhd child is having a little more like impulsive nature or we can say uh, a little hyper in nature they don't want to sit or they don't want to concentrate on particular thing for not more than like 30 second or 1 minute 
so then you can easily differentiate between them because active child always listen their parents or somebody if they 